Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers. And if this is already July again, wow, the months are flying by. And this is going to be a general monthly reading for Libra, sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon. And I wanna thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos, because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are in need of this information, just like you. All right, let's get to the transits. Today I'm taping on July 2nd, and tomorrow is the full moon, July 3rd, and it's 11 degrees Capricorn. And so that squares whatever you have in Libra. And then the new moon is, will be on the 17th, and that is just minutes away from being 25 degrees, and that's in Cancer. And so that also squares you, um, Libras, coming the other way. So you have both of these moons are squaring whatever you have in Libra. So that's a big deal. Okay, it's important to know. Saturn, of course, it's still in Pisces and it went retrograde. And so it begins this month at seven degrees and by the end of the month, five degrees. And then we also have transiting Pluto going back into it retrograded back into Capricorn from the introduction of having uh, Pluto in Aquarius and we will have retrograde Capricorn Pluto the rest of this year and then we also have Mars and Venus that are in a conjunction which is right next to each other both in Leo through the 10th and then on the 11th, Mars is going to go into Virgo, and that is going to be a close degree opposition to transiting Saturn, which can, Mars be, can be explosive, very, it's an action-oriented planet, very passionate planet, and so things could heat up having to do with authority figures and it, others expressing their thoughts and emotions and feelings uh, to authority figures. So again, there's going to be authority figures is on one side and the other people or person is on the other side. So this is individually and also I'm thinking in the world in general. So we could see a lot of activity, <laughs> uh, explosive activity going on between those two groups. And then let's see, last but not least, we are going to have transiting Taurus North Node will transition into Aries North Node. Okay, and that will happen on the 18th of this month. Okay, so Libras, with that being said, let's get to your reading. Okay, and if this reading isn't right for you, that's perfectly okay, because your natal wheel and all of your planets and the transiting planets are going to be unique and individual for each and every one of you. So, you might want to try your moon sign, rising, or your north or south nodes of the moon, or several of those if that sounds right for you. Okay, Libra, what do Libras need to know? This month of July, what is happening for the Libras? Sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon. For Libra. I just got, you can't make up your mind, Libra. <laughs> and maybe you don't want to do anything this month. Maybe that's how you feel. You just 
You just want to stay, stay in between. Okay. So, Taurus. So, you have that energy of Taurus, which is nature-oriented, enjoying the outdoors, enjoying that peaceful bliss and balance and harmony in, within your relationships with yourself. But I'm seeing that you are going to want to be outside a lot more and in nature, doing something in nature, whether it's just sitting, whether it's walking, whether it's whatever it is. Again, this is a general reading, but I'm absolutely seeing nature is definitely involved. And I will just notice that bee right there. So you could be seeing bees, or that's a sign or synchronicity for those of you who pay attention to that, bees. And I just got to, some of you are gonna be busy can be like busy bees planting gardens um, out outdoors doing something different activities for yourself and, and just going slow and relaxing and enjoying yourselves and nature maybe some of you are planting a flower garden or a vegetable garden okay I touched this card, so let's see what else wants to come out. Maybe some of you are getting paid to do that. Maybe you're landscapers. Maybe you're gardeners. Okay, so what else for Libra? There we go. Third house. And the third house is the natural house of Gemini and Mercury. And so communication is really big for you this month as well. And I'm getting for some of you, it could just be communicating with nature and the harmonious energies of nature. And maybe some of you, because you have been in such chaos and maybe heavily um, working, whatever that means for you, and you now this month is the time to slow down and have a little relaxation and re-energizing your batteries. Fun, having fun too. It's time for you to have fun this month. And also I'm getting to just life in general for some of you Libras is that's what it's doing is you are it's just opening up and you are able to relax and enjoy yourself and just enjoy, have fun, and love life. Love life. Okay, so let's see. Okay, let's get this deck and see what comes out. For you, Libras, I can shut this big deck. <laughs> okay. Okay, sun, moon, rising. Okay. North or south nodes of the moon. Okay, so first out, let's do this here. First out is Nine of Wands. And what I'm getting from the Scorpion is you've, Nine of Wands, again, you've been really busy. Maybe last month, last several months, been very busy and didn't have time for yourself. And you could have gotten, again, stung by this. You're having to really be on top of things and stay on top of things and now you are needing to re-energize yourself to calm down to just relax and um, spend some time again with nature and just enjoy yourself and have some fun and maybe that's what you were working for so that you could do that this month some of you are going on vacation it is the summer months and 
enjoying friends and family that you haven't seen. Maybe some of you are going to the desert, you're going to Arizona, you're going to New Mexico, maybe New Mexico for some of you. Utah for some of you, those deserty areas. Maybe someplace in California, deserty area, I don't know. Okay, next up is the armadillo, marking territory, impenetrable defense, and caution. What I just got the words are, you're throwing caution to the wind. So again, that has to do with just going out and enjoying yourself. Switching things up. You're taking a break from whatever type of work or um, personal mission you are on, whatever you have been focused on in the past several months. You're taking some time out for yourself now. To dog and you are a loyal friend. People are gonna see and recognize you this month for that loyalty and honesty that you show everyone who you are. And then I'm being drawn to read service, devotion, and honesty. So you've been of service to others and now now it's time for you to be of service to yourself and this month and do, again, have some fun. Kick up your heels, I just got, and enjoy yourself. And again, it always keeps going back to nature. You're outdoors, you're going to someplace new. Maybe you're traveling, of course, to a new, um, uh, new place, a new, Environment. There we go. My brain. Okay. The Empress, yes. Again, she's the ultimate of uh, balance and, and love and exuding that peace within herself. And she loves nature. Flowers again. Yeah, just natural things. You're just enjoying that this month. And with others, too, with other friends, family that share that same enjoyment. Six of Swords, so we have the Stork. We could be going by a lake, maybe doing some camping, canoeing, very peaceful, being on the water. I just quiet. Again, nature. And then last but not least, creative force, zeal, sacred songs. This is the cardinal. Again, I just get enjoyment and just feeling free and being able to, to just take your time and allowing those creative juices to come forth again. And maybe some of you are songwriters. Maybe you're writing a book. If I got songs, maybe you're writing um, lyrics to a song. And again, here's nature. All of these cards are nature. Plus Taurus, you are definitely going to be out in nature. That is that is your first and foremost desire and um, not just desire, but you're going to do that. And some of you, again, in the summer, you've been planning for it. Okay, so let's see. 15 minutes, let's... Let's see what else is coming up here for you. What else does Libra need to know for July? Sunrise. 
rising. Okay. Okay. Anything else for Libra? Feeling the world is number 13. That breaks down into a four. Some of you are just getting out into the world, going out and having an adventure. Again, that's fun. Something that you've been desiring to do and just enjoy yourself. Again here, flowers. I just got, once I said that, I got, I saw a picture of somebody going into a florist shop and ordering flowers. So you might be receiving flowers. You might be the giver of flowers. Maybe some of you own a flower shop and I just then see a closed, closed sign and you're taking some time off. Two weeks. Somebody's going on a vacation for two weeks. Possibly you own a flower shop. Okay. Into me, I see. Number eight. Yes, again, you're taking time out for yourself to nourish you, to re-energize you to get those creative juices flowing again and revive and so you can be bright and awake and aware and ready to go and revitalized, revitalized. Oh, look at that, that was upside down. The land between, it's number 40. So you have 44 and then you have an eight, which breaks down to two fours as well. So four, seeing four, 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 definitely. 44 is a definite sign of synchronicity for you. Oh, let's see, green. Again, this is nature. I'm seeing land, the green, greenery. But what I got first when I said the land between, is that Libra, I was getting that you, it's like you were trying to figure something out. You were in between, you couldn't decide. Indecision, indecision is what I'm getting. But you were able to, or you, if there is something that you're still undecided about, you are going to be able to to figure that out and bridge it so that you can incorporate both, both. And I just got some of you are literally a bridge into another world, bridging you from one, you know, like, like this, there's a bridge here, there's a bridge here. And you literally could be a bridge to someone or for yourself, walking over to the other side. That's interesting. Okay. Don't know what that means, but... If that's right for you, then you definitely know what that means. So I am going to draw one more card and then I will end the reading because I am shortening the all of my monthly readings and so I'm doing really good this month. <laughs> so let's pick one more, at least one more card. One more card from this deck for Libra before I end this reading. Okay, here we go. Number 
meditation. Again, this is number eight. So you have two eights now, 88. So, and here, meditation, it's about peace, being at peace with yourself, calming down, just balancing yourself and being in the harmonious space with you and enjoying that slow down pace and relaxation. And you're gonna love it. That big heart, you're just gonna love it. It's really going to re-energize you for those of you that are definitely needing that from this long hard work you've been doing. Yeah, okay. A lot of communication, a lot of busyness I'm getting from this third house card that you have been in. And so now you get a long, a long awaited rest and relaxation period. And some of you to allow yourself to channel, channel information, be able to spend that time with yourself so that you can tune in to you and the messages, the intuit your intuition. Maybe some of you are expanding your intuition, your channeling abilities to be able to take in information and knowledge to expand yourself, I'm getting. You, you can take the time now to do that. And again, meditation just came out together, so I'm just seeing you're gonna be able to spend more time with whatever meditation means for you. It's gonna be different for all of you, but that relaxing time with yourself. And so you're gonna be able to be in tune intuitively with your higher self, with the universe, however you choose to see that. But that is beautiful, Libra, okay? A very peaceful, calm, um, slow down, enjoyable month for you is what I see and feel. It is wonderful and you're going to enjoy yourself and be so revived and re-energized by the end of this month. So I hope this was helpful, Libra. Until next time. Bye.